Hi, my name is Eloise Cook and I'm studying a Bachelor of Physiotherapy. I'm currently in my third year and I'm studying at ACU North Sydney campus and I'll be embarking for the South America trip for World Youth Day 2013 in about three days. So uh, basically I've just been getting together, uh, we have had to organise a Brazil Brazilian visa so I've been trying to get that organised through the Brazilian consulate. I've had to get all of my vaccinations done for going overseas. Um, obviously this is one of my first trips to a third world country so I'm not really too sure how I'm feeling about that at the moment. Kind of a mixture of nervous and excited I guess. Um, it's, it's all going to be a very new experience for me. This is pretty much my first um, visit to a World Youth Day as well in Brazil. So I did experience some of the hype of Sydney, but unfortunately I was on crutches at the time, so I didn't get to experience too much of it. So as, as well, that's also very exciting for me. Um, the last few days I've just been, you know, getting all my stuff together, um, you know, trying to organise stuff to pack. I've been messaging other people drastically, trying to organise what they're packing as well. It's pretty hard to pack for pretty much three different seasons because it will be obviously very cold in Lima. Um, and quite hot in Rio so you can kind of have to pack for all four seasons so that's been one of the struggles that I've been been having at the moment but you know first world problems so basically my expectations of the trip are to find some growth within myself so I really want this to be a learning experience for me something that I can you know look back on in a few years and uh, take take a lot away from it so I don't actually know anyone else going from the trip. I've only met Greg and Roslyn, who are the World Youth Day Ambassadors from Strathfield, as I am a World Youth Day Ambassador for the North Sydney campus. So them being the only people that I've met, um, and then a few people as well from the two introduction, uh, introductory information sessions that we've had. So all of these experiences will be very exciting and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So as a World Youth Day Ambassador for the North Sydney campus I had to do quite a bit of fundraising. Um, we, had to, we had a goal target of $1,600 approximately for each campus. So in order to do that I did a lot of preparation um, for the last six months. So I did various things. Um, I did a chocolate run, so Cadbury, Freddos and Caramels had thousands of them around my house just trying to get rid of them. Um, I've also done a trivia night as well, so I had um, about 90 people turn up, so friends, family, friends of family, um, and we just had a, a very uh, relaxed trivia night and that managed to raise about $1,200, so a large portion of my funds. Um, I've also done other things such as a Rio day at our North Sydney campus, um, so we had a Brazilian barbecue on campus as well as an ice cream stall. Um, there's been other things I've done as well, so um, I work at a bar, so we had a tip jar for um, third world country Lima, the Poverty um, Foundation basically at the, at the bar as well. So I've been doing a lot of work in preparation in that regard. Um. Okay, let's, let's talk a bit more about what your feelings about uh, like helping out the, the building the chapel in Lima and, and meeting the kids and, and because I mean you've, you've seen it all in pictures and, and videos but being able to sort of see it firsthand, that must be a bit of a um, exciting yet confronting, you know, confronting yeah. Yeah. Uh, thing. So let's make talk a bit okay. that. So um, basically, in three days, we will be heading off to uh, Peru. First of all, we'll start off in Cuzco and then we'll go on to Lima, where we will experience some of the poorest people. Um, in the shanty towns. Now we have been exposed to some of this poverty in pictures and um, some of our information sessions from Lorena who's shown us basically what we will be confronted with. Obviously this is very different to experiencing it firsthand. Um, I've never had an experience like this before so like I said before I'm, I'm very nervous and also both excited. Um, I can't wait to you know go and experience the, the lives that these people live and I, I really hope that I can obviously take take a lot away from that. Um, in regards to the children as well, so I'm pretty excited that we can go and make a difference to these children. Um, a lot of us are taking over our little gifts for the, for the kids, so you know hopefully when we go and create a relationship and rapport with them, um, even though I think one of the barriers will be language, we won't be able to speak the same language as them, although we have learnt some very, very basic Spanish. Um, I think language will still be a barrier, although I do hope that we can 
we can make a difference in their lives but more importantly that they can make a difference in our lives so that we can come back and you know it can really we can really reflect on the experiences that we've had and what they've taught us so feelings wise uh, really still unsure very uncertain <laughs> um, but definitely nervous and very much excited to meet these people and see how they live their, their daily lives.